Hello everyone, my name is Monica Martinez and I'm going to be showing you how to use Poll Everywhere polls <laughs> along with your Google Slides. So as you can see from my screen here, I already have a poll dragged in. I want to show you really quick uh, how this sort of comes together in the end and then we're going to backtrack and set one up. So uh, I already have the Poll Everywhere extension on my uh, Google account. Therefore, I see an icon up here at the top that says Poll Everywhere, where I'm able to enable or start up a poll. Um, and what you get once you bring that poll in is this on your slide. So this is um, just kind of like a graphic. But when you put it into presentation mode, um, you're able to actually see real-time results. So as students start to answer this question by either going to the URL that you see up here or a text message, um, that they send. So in other words, the code, which is this one here, they would type in that code to the phone number, um, or really it's not a phone number, but the number 37607 is the number you're dialing into. Um, and then you're adding the number to that particular answer choice. Then as the teacher, when I say show responses, as my students are answering, you'll start to see this actually activate and show um, the results. So that's sort of the end result of uh, how the poll comes together. But let's start one from scratch. So once again, you do have to have the extension already added to your um, Chrome account. Once you do in Google Slides, once again, you're going to see that poll everywhere option up at the top there. And you click on that and you can either say insert if you already have one created or you can go to new and go to activity. It'll um, activate poll everywhere within your Google Slides. It's kind of just a little pop-up window that's popping up here on top of our slide deck. Click on new activity or again, you could select a current one. And we are going to do just a regular blank um, activity. So multiple choice, you could do word clouds or other things on there as well. Um, and then we're going to say, yeah, so here I'm going to come in here and edit the question. So what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? And then for the answer choices, you just come down here and add, so let's say vanilla, strawberry, oh chocolate, uh, and then I can get rid of options I don't want, or I can add additional options if I did want to actually have more. Um, you can then add additional settings, like allow people to change their answers, limit responses to one person, etc. So you've got some additional things on here that you can certainly activate. Once you're done, you simply click on the save button. And then um, you can preview here what that looks like and then edit or change the visual settings if you wanted different colors or what have you. We're ready to go. So insert slide, it, it shows you sort of the default view if that's the one you want, or you can change that up. Insert slides once again, it's gonna do its work and drop in the graphic here. Now it it basically drops it into the slide that's, that's uh, following the slide you were on earlier. So I was on this blank one, so I dropped it there. So I'm just simply gonna copy and bring it back over paste here on slide number 19. So once again, this is ready to go. So my students simply go to um, the information you have up here at the top, like I showed you earlier, and you as the teacher go into presentation mode so that you can um, see the results live. But that's how easy it is to set it up. Hope you guys find this particular tool useful.